So in this video, I'm gonna talk about three different scenarios if you did not receive your stimulus check. The first scenario is kinda of going to apply if you're using TurboTax to file your tax return. The other two aspects are gonna apply whether you're using TurboTax or not, and this is gonna give you a little bit of information either way. So if you're using TurboTax to file your tax return and you haven't received your third stimulus check, this is what you do. So the first thing I wanted to mention is, let's say you go here and then you come down, you put all of your income in, you go to wrap up income. This is not a question about the third stimulus check. A lot of people come here and they think that this is the question about the third stimulus check, so they'll say yes. So a lot of the times people will be in federal review or just in regular review and they'll keep getting an error message and they'll be wondering why are they getting this error message because they answered yes to this question, which basically means you are saying that you took money out of retirement fund due to some disaster. All you have to do is jump over to other tax situations Boom, drop down over here to let's keep going. Did you get the third stimulus payment? Well, you believe in your heart of hearts that you did not receive it. Now you want to make sure that you did not actually receive it. We'll talk about how to do that here in a second, but we're just gonna assume from now that you actually did not receive it and you know you did not receive it. So this is what you're gonna say is, no, I did not receive it. Or maybe you didn't receive all of it. That's another factor, right? So you're saying, yes, this is not, I received zero. Then you would just say yes. Boom, and then your refund will bump up whatever amount. So, so let's say you have a dependent, that number might be $2,800 instead of that $1,400. But the base credit for like an individual is typically $1,400. That is subject to some variation. But yet say, for example, you did receive some of it, but you didn't receive all of it. Yet say, for example, you had a kid in 2021, and now you qualify for an extra recovery rebate credit, which is basically the equivalent of the third stimulus payment for this year. So you would say, yes, you did receive it because you did actually receive some of it. But then you would say, does this match your letter 6475? Now, a lot of people didn't receive this form, but if you did receive this form, then you would say no. If And this number would be bigger if you had a kid. I don't want to go through all of that process of putting a kid in and then doing that because I'm a very busy person. So you would just say no. And then this number would probably be, let's say, 2,800. And then you would just put the amount that you received and then they would subtract that from 2,800 and then they would give you a $1,400 credit. Then at that point, you have your stimulus put into your software. All right, there you go. If you put that you did not receive your stimulus check, then you need to be very, very sure that you didn't actually receive it because the IRS will automatically adjust your refund if in their system they have that you actually received it. So there are three ways that you can check to see if you actually received the stimulus check. So the first way to check to see if you received the stimulus check is that the IRS sent a bunch of letters to people and it was the 6475. Now me, I didn't get my letter until like March. Now I could have already filed my tax return by then. So they sent it to be late March and a lot of people already filed their tax returns by that time period. So they might have never received this letter, at least not in a timely manner. If you filed jointly in 2022, the amount you and your spouse received will be split into two and you both will get two separate letters. So a lot of people didn't actually receive that letter. So what you would want to do is sign up or log into your IRS account. If you don't have an IRS account, it's always good to have an IRS account in case you need to get in there. Very, very good, but sometimes it acts funny. But the point is you want to get into that account and then you go to the tax records tab and then that should show you how much they think that you received. And it's only going to show you how much they think you received or at least your portion if you are married. So if you are married, you and your spouse are going to have to go to separate accounts and check to see how much you guys received. The third way, if you can't get logged into that account or if you didn't receive the letter or perhaps you just don't believe any of this records that the IRS have, what you want to do is check your bank account statements from 2021. Essentially, what you want to do is go back to March is where I see a lot of people having their stimulus uh, checks deposited into their account. And you would want to see if you have 1,400 or some multiple of 1,400. So basically what I'm saying is like 1,400 or 2,800. The second scenario is that you already filed but confirmed that you actually did not receive the third stimulus. So you file your tax return and you look back and say, you know what, I actually did not receive the stimulus based off the IRS form or based off the IRS website. So this is essentially what you would do. You would go back and you would file an amended tax return and you would do the things that I just showed you in that steps above or if you're going to some other tax professional then you would do that or if you're using some other software you would do it the way that that software has it set up. And if you're looking at your actual 
actual tax return documents, you will be able to say 1040 and then you'll be able to scroll down to line 30 and you'll say recovery rebate credit. And this will show you how much was included in your tax return, how much basically you are getting as a, an additional amount to your refund. If this amount say zero and you haven't received any of your stimulus check, that means you have to go do an amended return if you've already filed your tax return. So just say, for example, you file your tax return and then the IRS automatically adjusts your refund because they think that you already received it. But based off all of your records and all of your effort and based off your memory, you don't believe you actually received the third stimulus check. Eventually, what will happen is that you will receive a notice from the IRS explaining to you why they adjusted your refund. However, if you disagree with the reason why they adjusted your refund and you think that you actually deserve to have the stimulus check because you haven't received it and you qualified for it, then you would contact the IRS, usually by telephone. And then you will let them know that you disagree with the changes that they made. And then from there, IRS will conduct a trace of the stimulus check or what they call a EIP trace. If they feel that it's necessary, if they don't feel that it's necessary, then I guess you're just out of luck there. Once they get finished tracking your stimulus check, the IRS and you will receive a notification of the results. The results will show the account that it was sent to or a copy of the cash check. If the trace indicates that you've received the stimulus check already, no further action is necessary. They're not gonna give you any more money. So you just can forget about it and you just move on with your life and just accept it. The next thing that you would do if you have not received it and the trace indicates that you haven't received it, then essentially what you would do is the IRS would adjust your refund and then that will be sent to you. I find that usually people have already received their refund. They just forgot that they received it and you know they don't pay attention to their financial situation so they don't actually check their accounts or anything so they don't know that hey i actually received one thousand four hundred dollars of additional money this month whoop de do no they just go and they spend they spend they spend and if there's no money in their bank account then they get an overdraft charge and then they'll go pay the overdraft charge and then they'll just keep spending like that money was there so a lot of people don't even know that they received it so i would check to make sure you actually received it before you go about you know losing your brain cells trying to figure out how to solve the situation anyway goodbye